hi ladies and welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing this look here this sultry look um this is a fall collaboration with the afia 123 here on youtube this is also featuring taylor cosmetics um makeup so if you guys want to see how i created this look then please stay tuned as always i'm starting off my eye look using my elf eye primer got to for these oily lids Now I'm going to go in with the base and I'm using the Maybelline Color Tattoo. Um, I think this one is Rich Mahogany. This was from their fall collection. And I'm applying that all over the lid and above my fold and on the lower lash line. Going in with a kind of pinky creamy color from the Lust palette from Wet n Wild. I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight. Now taking this bronzer by e.l.f. and I'm going to use that as my transitioning color. Now taking a pigment from Tailored Cosmetics, um, this is from the collection Pixie, and I'm going to use this really beautiful bronzy, it's not a bronzy, it's more like a champagne-y, pinky, gold color, it's so gorgeous. I'll be doing a review on these products soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to apply that color all over my lid. I am not going to bring it above the fold. I'm just going to keep it on the lid. Going back into the Pixie Collection from Taylor Cosmetics, I'm taking this really rich brown color. When I say this color is rich, it looks like a warm reddish brown, but it goes on super dark, almost black. It is a very beautiful matte brown color. And I'm going to apply that in my outer V and into my crease and I'm bringing it all the way in towards the nose. Now notice my technique, I am not making like a pointed uh, cat eye with it, I'm rounding off my crease. Taking a blending brush, this one's by e.l.f. and I'm going to take a little bit more of that um, brown pigment from the Pixie collection and I'm just going to blend out the line a little more. Also taking that same color along my lower lash line. And I'm also going to bring that color along my top lash line. Going back into the Pixie collection from Taylor Cosmetics and I'm taking this gorgeous purple. Now on camera and in person this color looks mega bright. But when you put it on it goes on very, not very dark but like a wine purple almost. It is gorgeous. And I'm going to just take that color and blend it right above that brown color and upward up into my brow highlight. I'm also going to take that color and place it on the lower lash line as well. In person, you see a lot more of the purple than you do of the brown. On camera, it looks like it's kind of mudded together a little bit, but it's really gorgeous. Now I'm taking this e.l.f. blush called Gotta Glow. And I'm going to apply that to my inner tear ducts. Taking my Milani Liquify Eyeliner in black, I'm going to apply that to my waterline, top and bottom. I wanted this to be a really sultry, sexy look. That's why I went for black inner rims instead of a cream color. Now to line my line, oh, line my line, line my eyelids. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild uh, cream eyeliner, and I'm aligning very close to my lash line. And giving myself a slight wing. Normally I like to do dramatic wings, but for this look, a slight wing. Now off camera, I'm going to apply my three favorite mascaras at the moment and come back and show you guys what I'm wearing on my face, lips, and cheeks. 
For my highlight, I'm wearing the e.l.f. blush in Gotta Glue. Applying that to the highest points of my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and my cupid's bow. Now for blush, I'm wearing LA Colors Blush in Berry Plum. Using a e.l.f. mineral powder brush. Plain, applying that to the apples of my cheeks and then working it backwards up towards my hairline. For my lips, I'm going to go in with the Nika K Lip Liner in Plum. You can get these from your local beauty supply store. And it's a really beautiful plummy wine color. For my lips, I'm using this CoverGirl lipstick in Smitten. This is one of the very first lipsticks I bought from this collection and I loved it when I got it and forgot that I had it because I own so much and I haven't used it since. So yeah, I'm using it now and I remember why I loved it so much. And to top it off, I'm going to use this Sally Hansen Smile Brightening Lip Gloss in Brilliant, which complements the CoverGirl lipstick very well. And here is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please do not forget to check out Afia123's channel and her video. I will leave the links down below in the description box. And until next next time ladies bye you and me chasing my dreams all these nice things but i really need a queen yeah we going to get